Hello everyone, Minasan Konichiwa, Chao a tutti, hola a todos. I enjoy uh, studying languages. Uh, it wasn't always like this. When I started to go to the university, I would study just a little bit of French. When I would go on the bus to school, I would uh, just hear um, some podcast, and I also would actually um, use applications to learn French. But it wasn't that um, important for me. It was uh, just like a little hobby, something that I could do on my way to school, something that I would just do on on my free time at school. It's just something. It wasn't that important. And when it's when it became something important was when I started to work. Well, since I was little, I always grew up being I grew up being bilingual. So this means that I actually wanted to grow in this hotel. I wanted to be in reception. Uh, I was I have always been and still I am still a cashier. So then I was looking for a way to grow in this company. And since I was already studying a little bit of French, I thought to myself, what is a good way for you to get more value, to be more special? So that's when I said, you know what? I'm going to learn French. And that's actually when I gave French more importance. And... Um, during the time I was in the university, I would only go to work on weekends, that means Saturday and Sunday, and also uh, Fridays. And it was uh, something uh, very nice, uh, being able to uh, win your own money and pay your university. That's um, something special. And you know, I would like to know if you guys are learning any languages, uh, please leave it in the uh, Comments below and uh, languages you're learning. For me, uh, German is a language, but German actually has some similarities with English. In uh, like, for instance, the numbers uh, you have uh, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. You actually see the similarity with with uh, English numbers like one, like no, not one, but two, three, four, five. And also, thousand, thousand is like almost the same, hundred, hundred. You know, for me, what is most difficult of the German language are the way that the sentences actually... Um, sentence like you know in english it would be i can speak dutch well i can speak german and in german it's ich kann dutch expression as you can see the verb speak which is expression went to the end if someone would have told me that i will be studying italian i wouldn't believe him because Italian wasn't oh, never my intention, I actually preferred French and not Italian. But what really makes made me interested in uh, Italian was that it has a lot of similarities with Spanish. We have a lot of words and um, phrases that are kind of the same, like uh, for instance, me chiamo and is in Italian and in Spanish is me llamo. It's very similar. And actually, a lot of words have also similarities with French. Uh, like, for instance, the verb um, eat is in French is mange. Uh, je mange, tu mange, nous mangeons. And in Italian is mangiare. Mangio, tu mangi, mangiano. I don't regret learning Italian. 
and I will keep on learning Italian and uh, keep on improving. Uh, I'm actually thinking in a month to do a video speaking only in Italian uh, without leggendo, without reading. Uh, and that's going to be a good exercise, I think. And that's just a good way for anybody to get fluent in a language and to practice it. You have to... You have to lose the fear of um, making a fool of yourself of speaking uh, out of public and um, a lot of uh, foreigners can actually help you they can actually tell you you know what you said it wrong it's this way and I think it's a good way to improve any language after one year of studying French uh, it was uh, for me it was a choice of Japanese or Chinese and Japanese won. I actually thought that I wasn't gonna be able to speak any of these languages, Japanese or Chinese, because they are very difficult and they are very difficult. That is the main reason I didn't start earlier to learn Japanese nor Chinese. I actually wanted to get more experience learning languages and that's, that to me was a way to learn faster to get experience and actually learn faster uh, after three months of learning Japanese I'm actually not very good but I can read katakana and hiragana what is very difficult for me is uh, the kanji but I think if I learn some kanji this will help me when I start learning Chinese probably not the same pronunciation but what it will have it is um, how you draw, how you write it, and uh, the signif the significance. Well, you guys, if you like, well, you guys, if you guys like the video, if you enjoyed it, uh, please consider subscribing, and also, why not leave a thumbs up? That actually will help me uh, to know that uh, this video was uh, very interesting, or that you liked the video, you know. Uh, thank you guys and uh, see you next in the next video.